What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today I'm partnering up with Sinful Colors to show you guys their brand new Candy Wonderland collection. And oh my gosh, I am so excited because we have 20 brand new polishes to go over today and we have four different finishes to go over as well. So if you haven't heard of Sinful Colors before, they are an affordable nail polish brand that is vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. And they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So like I said, we've got 20 polishes to go over. So we've got four categories of five polishes each and each one has a different finish. So we've got the Confection Crush polishes, which are the matte velvet finish that I absolutely love. Then we have the Frosting Fantasy polishes, which is the sheer matte polishes that have a really beautiful shimmer. We have the Sugar Magic polishes, which have a gumdrop finish. Don't worry, I'm going to explain what that that means. And then we have the Candy Rush polishes, which are part of the Quick Bliss line, meaning they are super shiny polishes that dry really quickly. So we've got a ton to go over here. I'm just going to jump right into the swatches and then we'll talk a little bit more about availability. So let's just go ahead and roll the footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Sinful Colors first in line base coat, so I'll link it down below. So We'll start off with the Confection Crush Polishes, which is the matte velvet finish, which if you haven't heard of it, it's one of my favorite finishes. It's a shimmer polish that dries down matte and it gives this almost velvety effect on the nails. It's absolutely gorgeous. This first shade is called Strawberry Cheesecake. And as you can see, it's this really beautiful reddish pink base. We have this silver shimmer running throughout. And then of course it dries to that velvety matte finish. So here's what it looks like in two coats dry on the nails. And I just absolutely adore this. You can always put on a regular glossy top coat if you want, but I just absolutely love this specialty finish so much. It's definitely one of my top favorites. Next up, we have the shade Raspberries and Cream, which is another really beautiful pink matte velvet shade. This one is a little bit lighter, a little bit cooler toned, and it also has a little bit of dustiness to it. Again, we have those silver shimmers running throughout, and then it does dry down to that matte finish. I absolutely loved the formula on these. I feel like they're very easy to work with and the majority of them were super opaque. This one, I got perfect coverage in two coats. It just looks so soft and pretty on the nails, especially once it dries down to that matte finish. Next up, we have the shade Rosewater Delight, and this one is a really beautiful, very soft pink shade that almost verges into like nude neutral territory here. It's got a little bit of a soft light coloring to it. Again, it's a very dusty color. We have that silver shimmer in there and it does dry down to that really beautiful velvet matte finish. And you can really see how velvety it looks in a light color like this. It's just so pretty and soft looking. I feel like this is such an elegant color. Next up, we have the shade Pistachio Praline or Praline, I guess, depending on your regional accent. And this one is this really beautiful, very soft sage green base color. Again, we've got that silver shimmer in there and it does dry down to that beautiful matte finish. This was another one that gave me perfect coverage in two coats. I think this is such a beautiful soft wintry shade. It almost gives me like this pine trees covered in snow kind of color. I don't know. I absolutely adore it. <laughs> and last but definitely not least of the Confection Crush Matte Velvet Polishes, we have Blueberry Macaron. And this is a very, very soft, very delicate baby blue base color. Once again, we do have that silver shimmer running throughout and we also have that really beautiful matte velvet finish. Now this one, I feel like I could have gotten away with doing two coats for full opacity, but I ended up doing a third and I feel like it really gave that blue color such a depth and it looked so beautiful on. The formula is pretty thin, so it doesn't feel very thick on the nail if you have three coats. So if you do have long nails, three coats should not be an issue at all. It feels perfectly wonderful on the nails. So here it is dry. It looks super gorgeous. So I am going to show you a comparison swatch at the end of all of my swatches, but I had a lot of fun playing around with these sets of five. So I wanted to show you guys a little mini skittle of each set. So this is the confection crush polishes in a skittle, and I think they just look so pretty together. They make such a nice natural gradient. Moving on to the next finish, we have the frosting fantasy polishes. So these ones are the sheer mattes, meaning the polishes are intentionally sheer. You do get a little bit of that visible nail line, and they also dry down to a semi-matte, almost plasticky finish. So this first one is called Petals in Pink. It's this really beautiful warm pink base that has a really intense blue shimmer running 
running throughout. I absolutely love these sheer mats in two coats, but I wanted to show you guys all of them in three coats, just so you could see what they looked like a little bit more full coverage. Honestly, you can play around with them and do however many coats you want. One, two, or three coats all look super gorgeous on the nails, but here it is in three coats with that dry semi matte finish. And I just think it's really beautiful. Next up, we have the shade icing on the cake. And in the bottle, this one looks like a very vibrant orange, but because it's a sheer matte, it really softens up on the nails. We have a really nice silvery shimmer running throughout. Honestly, I love the way that this one looks in one coat because it's really just sort of a nail brightener without giving too much color. In the second coat, you get this really nice soft peachy coloring on your nails. And then in the third coat, I get this very vibrant peachy orange color. Still a little bit of visible nail line peeking through, but it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I really like the shimmer in this. There's definitely these little specks that are bigger than regular shimmer and they just sparkle in the light and look so beautiful. Next up, we have the shade Frosted Sugar Cookie. This one is honestly my favorite of the frosting fantasy shades. It's just so beautiful. It's this very soft beige base. And then we have an intense, warm, coppery pink shimmer running throughout. It's kind of hard to see in my video, but on the nail, it just looks so beautiful. I love contrasting shimmers. I think they work so well, especially when you're talking about a nude or neutral color combined with a very intense shimmer. And I think that's exactly what this delivers. It looks so beautiful in three coats. It almost fully covered up my visible nail line, but it just looked so beautiful, especially with that semi matte finish. It just feels like a very elegant color. I feel like it's a palette cleanser while also having a little bit of that fun sparkle to it. Next up, we have the shade Lavender Notes, which is a really beautiful lavender, almost periwinkle leaning base that has, again, that really intense, warm, pinky copper shimmer running throughout. So this is another color that just looks so soft and delicate on the nails. It was definitely giving me a little bit of a Cinderella vibe, and I think it's just so beautiful. In two coats, I had a nice visible nail line with a good amount of color payoff on the nails, but in three coats, you get a lot more saturation there of the color. So it really just depends on what kind of manicure you're looking for. Personally, I love both. I think it's so pretty and delicate and sometimes it just looks a little bit more neutral on the nails depending on your skin's undertone. So it could just be a really nice, almost neutral color as well. And last but not least of the frosting fantasy shades, we have Iced Petty For, And this one is a really beautiful medium blue base that has a very vibrant pink shimmer running throughout. I feel like this one should probably be the one that gives me Cinderella vibes. I don't know if you could tell, but I have not seen Cinderella, which is probably why I don't know exactly what shade of blue her dress is. <laughs> But this is another really beautiful one. Again, in two coats, you get this really nice delicate color. And in the third coat, you get a little bit more vibrance on the nail. So it's just dependent on what kind of manicure you're going for. The reason I love sheer polishes though, is because depending on how many coats you do, it kind of feels like a completely different color on the nails. So it's almost like getting multiple different types of nail polish in one bottle. So here it is with that semi matte finish. It's just so beautiful. I love that vibrance contrasting shimmer. So here is my little Skittle manicure with all of the shades together. This is actually what I'm wearing in the intro and outro to this video and also what I'm wearing right now because I can't bring myself to take it off. I just think all of these colors are so pretty and delicate and I think they work so well together. So moving on to the Sugar Magic finish and these ones are a gumdrop texture and I'm sure you guys are wondering what exactly does that mean? So basically these polishes are are a sort of jelly-like base that has a matte white glitter running throughout, as well as a little bit of this sandy texture when it dries. So it almost looks like a candy that has that sugary outside and it creates such a fun effect. This shade is called Watermelon Obsessed and it's a really beautiful soft pink. It honestly just looks like candy. <laughs> Next up we have the shade Sweet Cherry Drop and this is a very vibrant red base. Again, we've got those mini white matte 
glitters running throughout as well as that sort of sandy texture. Now I have no idea how Sinful Colors does this but they always manage to make a finish or a type of polish that I never even considered before but now that it exists and seeing it on my nails I cannot believe that it hasn't existed before this. It's just such a fun texture. It honestly looks like those sugared or sour candies and it's just so much fun to wear. Next up we have the shade Orange Slice and this one is actually a really warm light brown jelly base so when I was looking at it in the bottle before I saw the name this one was actually giving me very strong gingerbread vibes and honestly I feel like I can still see a little bit of that gingerbread vibe based on the color but once it dries down to that gumdrop finish I feel like it definitely does look does anybody remember I don't know if they're still around those fruit slices that were sugared like the orange slices they weren't real oranges they were jellies but that's totally what this reminds me of. Next up we have the shade It's So Grape and this one is a slightly darker gray base color that also has the matte white glitters as well as that textured sandiness. I'm not even sure how they achieve that but it's just so fun and again I'm doing two coats. I did end up doing two coats for almost all of the Sugar Magic polishes and they dried down to this really beautiful finish but you can always do a third coat if you want to deepen that color. And last but definitely not least we have the shade Sour Melon Crush and this one is a very soft green base. Again we've got those white matte glitters in there as well as that sandy texture so when it dries it dries down to that really fun sugared effect. So I ended up doing three coats for this one. Again could have gotten away with two coats but I was just curious to see what this type of polish would look like with a third coat on. So I tried it out. It still has that really fun effect. It dries down really nicely and honestly it's just a lot of fun. I feel like the color was a lot more opaque in that third coat so it looked a little bit more vibrant on the nails. Now I personally love this textured finish but if you prefer you can always top this with a thick coat of glossy top coat and you can still get this fun color without the textured effect but I highly recommend trying out the texture. I just think it's really fun. It's very out of the box. It's different from anything I've tried before. And finally we have the candy rush finish. So this is the quick bliss line of polishes from Sinful Colors. The polishes are all all regular cream finishes that dry down glossy and the cool thing about Quick Bliss is they do dry very quickly. So this first shade is called Sugar Plum Sucker. It's this very very soft lavender purple cream shade. It does have that really beautiful cream finish and you can see once it's dry it's just super glossy on the nails. Now I always recommend using a top coat just to make your manicure last longer but this one definitely does have that very high shine to it. It. Next up we have the shade Candied Grapefruit and this one is a really beautiful warm pink cream shade. Now this one for some reason my camera was picking it up looking a little bit cooler toned than it looks in real life so I would say this one's definitely a little bit warmer. It's almost verging a tiny bit on that salmon color but it's a really beautiful shade. This one was a little bit more sheer than the lavender shade so I ended up doing three coats for full opacity and it looked just perfect on. Again we have that really nice high shine there. It does self level really nicely and it's just a very beautiful staple color to have in your collection. Next up we have the shade Candy Coated Mint and this one is a really beautiful very soft yellow that almost looks a little bit beige but I feel like there's a definite yellow undertone going on here. Again it's a little bit more sheer so I ended up doing three coats for full coverage but I think this shade is so pretty. It's a really interesting name but looking at it it honestly reminds me a little bit of white chocolate candy and again we have that super high shine so definitely gives off a little bit of that tempered chocolate tempered white chocolate. Is there such a thing? I don't even know. But either way it's a really beautiful palette cleansing kind of shade. Again it feels very elegant. I think this would also be a very good base for nail art. Next up we have the shade Green Apple Craze. This one is a really beautiful soft green cream shade but it also has this very subtle hint of a silver shimmer running throughout. It's a little bit harder to tell on camera but in person especially when the light hits it you can get a little bit of a 
silver shimmery sparkle and it just looks so pretty on. So this one was another one that was perfectly opaque in three coats. Because the Quick Bliss line dries so quickly, it really doesn't feel too difficult to do a three coater and it feels like a thinner manicure on so you won't feel like you have too many coats on your nails. It's honestly very easy to work with. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Royal Cake Pop, which is a really beautiful metallic silver shimmer shade. And this one I was actually really excited about. Personally, I love wearing metallic polishes in the winter, especially around the holidays. I just feel like there's something very festive about it. Not just the winter holidays, but also New Year's. Just feels like the perfect time for wearing gold and silver. And this silver is really beautiful. It's got a bit of a brush streaky finish, but if you're careful on that second coat, it'll look really nice on the nails. And here is my little skittle of all of the Candy Rush polishes. And as you can see, it's just a very high gloss finish. It looks super nice on the nails. So here are all of the shades together. And I have to say, we have so many new colors here. It's really exciting. I absolutely love the way that they broke this down into the different finishes. But one thing that I really love to see about this collection is that within each finish, there's a similar color story. So if you wanted to mix and match within different categories, you can also do that as well. So definitely a lot of fun with this one. I love seeing Simple Colors try out new things and I feel like they definitely nailed it, so to speak. <laughs> so yeah, those are the polishes and I have to say I am just so in love with these finishes. Honestly, I'm the most excited about the Confection Crush finish because I love the matte velvet polishes that Simple Colors has done. I think they do such an incredible job of them, but I'm also really excited about this new gumdrop texture. I feel like Simple Colors is always pushing the boundaries of nail polish and I feel like I always say that in every video, but honestly, they are the only brand that I see that's constantly trying new textures and finishes and really just stepping outside of the box. And I absolutely love when they do. So really impressed that they have managed to come up with something brand new yet again that I totally love. And I also appreciate that they come in sets of five because that's the perfect amount for Skittles, but they also have like similar colors in each finish. So you can actually do like a mix and match Skittle as well, or you can just do different types of nail art with the different finishes mixed together. I just feel like there's so many different opportunities with these. So these polishes are exclusively available at Target. They come in 15 milliliter bottles and all of these specialty finishes have a wide flat brush with a rounded tip for easy application. And they retail for $2.99 USD each. So I'm going to link it down below so you guys can check them out if you're interested. I will say their specialty finish polishes tend to sell out really fast. So if you are interested, I highly recommend recommend grabbing them as soon as you see them because I feel like these are going to go very fast. But yeah, that is it for my review. I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think of these polishes? Which of the four finishes is your favorite? Are you planning on picking any of them up or have you already? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon. Amanda to M, Braxton Scott, and Rocket Man's daughter. I really appreciate your support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Jessica, and Jessica wants to know, if you had to take one round trip in a time machine, would you choose to visit the past or the future, and why? Is there anything you would alter while you're there? Oh, I don't know. This is tough, because I feel like as much as people romanticize the past, I feel like the future has so much more and such better opportunities in it. I guess it kind of depends on how long my round trip is, because if I could go to the past, still within my lifetime and invest in something crazy and then just make a ton of money, that would be really cool. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like I'm so drawn to the future. I'm like a very optimistic person and I love looking ahead and like I love daydreaming about things that haven't been invented yet because I, I it always blows my mind that there are things that exist now that when I was a kid I could not even fathom. Even just like smartphones for example, like just the idea of having a phone and the internet in your pocket. Like I feel like even as a kid there wasn't even that much going out like YouTube. Oh my gosh, I'm going on a whole rant right now. Like we take this for granted every single day.
single day. All of this new technology is constantly showing up and as soon as we're used to it, we're just like, all right, this is something that exists now. But I feel like I always just think about like, it's so crazy to imagine what our lives would have been like without this thing. So I feel like I'm so curious about the future and I feel like it probably wouldn't make much sense for me to go into the future within my lifetime because I'm gonna experience that in my lifetime and it would probably make me a little nervous about what's to come if I knew ahead of time. <laughs> so honestly, I feel like this is kind of a weird answer, but I would want to go way into the future, like way past my lifetime and see how incredibly different the world is. I feel like that's kind of why people are into like futuristic sci-fi kind of movies, right? Because it's fun to imagine what the future is gonna hold. So yeah, like I want to go way far into the future. I want to see what things like a cell phone that has internet access is like commonplace for us. I want to know, do we have contact lenses that are like internet in our eyeballs? I want to know. But I'm very curious to hear everybody else's answer. Would anybody choose the past or would you guys choose the future? I feel like more people would choose the past, but I'm not 100% sure. So let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.